Welcome to MKT 363E Services Marketing. In this video, we will look at the first P of services, which is product. We will discuss product using the flower of service model. By the end of the video, you will be able to draw the flower of service with the core and supplementary elements. You will also be able to distinguish between facilitating and enhancing services and give examples of each. The flower of service is made up of two components. They are the core product and supplementary services. The core product is based on the core set of benefits and solutions delivered to customers. The core product is the main component that supplies the desired experience. Examples of core product include a classy haircut or a delicious meal. Surrounding the core product is a variety of supplementary services. These services play two roles. Facilitating services are either needed for service delivery like payment or they help in the use of the core product like information. Enhancing supplementary services add value and appeal for customers. Not every firm will have all the supplementary services. For example, a food court may not have consultation services. To sum up the flower of service, the facilitating elements include information, order taking, billing and payment, while the enhancing services include consultation, hospitality, safekeeping and exceptions. In the next few slides, I will provide examples of each of these kinds of services. Information. Information can be about the product that you have bought in relation to a service. It can be the directions uh, as to how to move about or where locations are within a service site. It can be about the opening hours or it can show you how much the price of the service is. Information can also be reminders like when a dentist send you a reminder about your next servicing. Information can be warnings like um, how you should or should not use medication that you receive from a doctor. Information can be about the conditions of sale, like, the, like you can't uh, have a refund if you don't use up part of a package that you paid for, like let's say, um, hair styling. Or information can be information about how much something costs in a receipt or ticket. Companies need to ensure that the information they provide is timely and accurate. Order taking. Order taking can be split into three categories. They are applications, order entry, and reservations. Applications like can be applications for club memberships. Applications can also be subscription service to mobile data plans or application to be enrolled into a university. Order entry. Let's take McDonald's as an example. We can go to a McDonald's store and place our order or we can call in and have an order for McDonald's delivery or even order online for McDonald's delivery. Reservations or check-in. We could have reservations to seats in the theatre or tables in the restaurant. We could have reservation to pick up a rental car or we could have made an appointment with a medical doctor. The process of order taking should be fast, free and convenient for customers. Technology now often makes order taking easier and faster for both customers and company. Billing Billing can be periodic statements like when you receive the bill from your mobile phone service provider. Billing can be an invoice for an individual transaction. This would be like, for example, if you have a storage service and they gave you an invoice. Billing can be a verbal statement of an amount due that the service personnel tells you. Or billing can be a machine display of an amount due like when you um, pay for a ticket for a train ride, for example. Busy customers do not like to be kept waiting for the bill to be prepared. Hotels, for example, often help by pushing the bill under the door of the room on the morning of the checkout so that customers can already know how much their bill is. This will shorten the time taken at checkout. 
bills have to be accurate. If a service experience was fantastic but ended with an error in the bill, this would mar the experience for the customer. Payment A variety of payment options exist, but all customers expect payment to be easy and convenient. Payment can be self-service. For example, we could insert a card and let's say pay for a haircut. Or payment can also be by transfer of funds electronically, like when we pay bills online or payment can be by entering a credit card number online. Payment can also be made to a payee or intermediary directly. This is where we can pay cash or pay by using a credit or debit card or we can use coupons to redeem for a service. Payment can be automatic deductions. For example, when we pay for ERP or like for parking at parking gantries or can, it can be for like gyro payment arrangements. Next, consultation. At the simplest form, consultation consists of advice from a knowledgeable service personnel in response to a request. For example, you might ask a waitress in a restaurant to recommend the most popular dishes. Examples of consultation are like customized training. For example, if you have a personal fitness trainer. Next could be personal counselling, like when you go to a psychiatrist for counselling. Or it can be tutoring in product use, like when you buy a camera and then you go to classes on how to use the camera nicely and take great photos. Or it could be like management consulting services. Hospitality. Hospitality related services should ideally reflect pleasure at meeting new customers and greeting old ones when they return. Hospitality is the kind of service that makes the customer feel as at home as possible. For example, if you go to a luxury brand store, uh, they, the staff greet you in a very friendly manner. They can provide you with beverages uh, while you sit down and rest uh, as the service personnel brings you different products for you to examine. There could also be toilets and washrooms. Or, that, or let's say in a restaurant, there are toilets and washrooms which, which make it easier for you. And in a restaurant, while you're waiting, there could be seats for you to sit down. Transportation could be like shuttle services that hospitals sometimes provide from MRT stations to the hospital. The quality of hospitality services offered by a firm plays an important role in determining customer satisfaction. Next, safekeeping. When customers visit a service facility, they often want assistance with their personal possessions, which is safekeeping. For example, like when you go to a hotel, you would like your car to be parked in a safe place. And um, like when you go to a theatre, you might want a coat room to store your coats. Or, for example, if you check out early, you might want to leave your baggage at the hotel for safekeeping or let's say um, you go for a haircut you would want a storage space to keep your bags or there could be safe deposit boxes like in a hotel room or there could be security personnel around uh, in a service facility now I know that children are not possessions however certain uh, companies like where uh, in a store where you go shopping they could provide uh, child minding services, a place where your child can play while you go shopping. Responsible businesses pay close attention to safety and security issues for customers visiting their premises. Next, exceptions. Exceptions are supplementary services that fall outside the routine of normal service delivery. They could be like special requests, for example, like, for example, um, on a plane, we could have a child meal. Special requests could also arise from disability. Like, for example, if you have a hearing uh, a disabled student in your class, uh, you could be requested to speak uh, facing the student at all times. Special requests could be made for me meals uh, for dietary restrictions based on religion as well. 
Exceptions can also be the handling of special communications like feedback, complaints and compliments. Problem solving can also be exceptions like when customers uh, want an exchange uh, based on a warranty for let's say an exchange for a, a mobile phone that's not working properly. Exceptions could also be difficulties from service failure. For example, when we do check out at um, let's say a store like cold storage and somehow the machine is not working properly, then the service staff have to step in to help. Exceptions could be also assisting customers with emergencies. For example, on a plane, when someone has a medical problem, then the staff or crew would be, would be called in to assist customers with the emergency. Exceptions can be restitution. For example, if let's say someone was not satisfied with the food in the restaurant, they could be asking for compensation or they could be asking for uh, you know, a replacement of a free dish. Restitution can also be repair of defective products like let's say a laptop is not working properly after you buy it. While it is good that companies are able to make exceptions for customers, however, they need to manage the level of exceptional requests as it may indicate that the, the standard procedures may need to be changed. We have finished examining the eight petals of the flower of service and what they consist of. Companies can use one or more of the petals, especially the enhancing petals, to differentiate themselves from other companies. For example, hotels offer different levels of hospitality to customers. In the next video, we will look at the second P of services marketing, which is place, and examine, and examine the options for service delivery.